Hey everyone, welcome to a new series where uh, we're not going to be talking about money making. Excuse me, who do you think you are? Anyway, we're not going to be talking about money making, we're going to be talking about how to level your skills. So the first video I'm going to make here is a how to level your artisan skill guide. So we're going to assume that you're starting around level one artisan, or maybe you were dumb and put some XP bottles in artisan when you did your adventures. But we're here at Wharf Molo right next to the plaza near the bank, just so you know how we're doing things. So the first location that's really important for you to know is to this artisan cart. Now, this lady's name is Vera. She is one of the few sitting characters in the game. Um, she does look at you when you uh, move around here, which is a little creepy. Essentially, she has long brown hair, wears a pink, pink. Actually, I'm not sure what color shirt she, anyway, she's got clothes on. So you go here and she's got some important things that you need to know about. The most important one for our purposes is the sculpting tool. So you're going to go ahead and buy one of these bad boys. Now I'm going to use a tool. I have a toolbox, which I'll show you how to get in a different video. But actually, we're going to go ahead and put that in the bank so that I can be more like all of you. So we put in our toolbox. Now we have a sculpting tool. And the other thing you're going to need for this video is you can either buy clay from Vera, which is kind of nice because it's reasonably cheap. I mean, it's 12 coins a pop. Um, depending on how much money you have, it could be worth doing, could not be worth doing. I like to buy the clay and store it for later. And you can sculpt that clay directly. So what we're going to be doing here is, buying oh, okay, there we go. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be sculpting clay. Now, I believe this is the easiest and fastest way to get artisan XP up to a pretty reasonable level, maybe about like, maybe mid thirties. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by making a bowl. A bowl requires level one artisan, it requires one clay. And in order to level your artisan, you're just gonna work your way up this progression. So you're gonna start making bowls, then you're gonna make ring molds, then you're gonna make bricks, necklace molds, pots, amulet molds, pans, you're going to skip magic tablets because they require rune essence and that's too much work. And then at level 40, you have this option. But honestly, the last thing you're really going to make is either amulet molds or pans. Now, they actually decreased the clay requirements on these since when I made them. So lucky you, you don't have to do four clay plus per mold. So um, we're going to work our way up. So as you can see, this, this goes up to level 12 artisan. Um, it used to be different. Now. How do you get clay? Vera only has 50. Oh no, what do I do? Does that mean I can only level Artisan whenever she's in stock, which is like once every, you know, one or two days? Like at this point, she's got two. That's not going to let you level anything. So we're going to need to know about a fantastic and wonderful location, which is going to feature prominently in a future video regarding how to get a better backpack. So I'm going to take my, uh, my horsey here. Everyone say hello to the horsey. Hello, horsey. This is the VIP horsey. That's why it's so sexy and green. And we're going to ride our way out of Wharf Molo. Now, there is something you need to be careful about. As if this is your first time leaving the city, you have to be careful of a mob called a robber. There is a robber. It will attack you if you get close. That's what that yellow name means. So you want to avoid the robber and just kind of work your way down. And basically, it's a straight shot to the east. So you're going to pass the air altar. Ironically, the air mages, which are stronger than robbers, are not dangerous, but the robbers are. So again, avoiding the robbers, they spawn on those paths. So if you go a little bit off the path, you should be fine. And you're going to come over here to this wonderful, dandy place called the clay mine. And we're going to hop down into the clay mine. Now that these spiders here, they won't hurt you. They're friendly. Look at these little cute little spiders. Not a good little spider. Okay. The other thing you're going to need to do this method is you're going to need a pickaxe. Now, any pickaxe will do. I, of course, am uh, interested in doing this as quickly as possible. So I'm going to use an obsidian pickaxe with some mods and a mining helmet. You can also use a mining vest. You can use a better pickaxe. You can use a worse pickaxe. Either way, I believe this is the fastest artisan XP available, especially at an early level. So uh, you all just going to mine the clay here. It's very simple. I mine the clay. I get a full inventory of clay, and I go ahead and I sculpt the clay right here on the spot. So I'm going to start with making bowls. And what's really, really nice is that now these items stack. So you have the option of keeping them and selling them back when you go back to town. Or 
even better, you have the option of getting a few stacks of bowls, climbing up this fantastically long hanging ladder, avoiding any TNT, not that that matters, and talking to this fellow here. This is Percy Jackson. He was once famous, then he took an arrow to the knee. And you can see that he is a general store, which means, A, he has clay if you're interested, but most importantly, he has the ability to buy this stuff. So you can sell your bowls to him and make a little bit of money. It's not a lot, but it's nice because it's stacked, so you can get a few stacks of bowls and make a little bit of cash doing this. So you're going to keep going and work your way up through them through the things and just basically make each one in progression. Now when you hit level 12, you're going to have this option. You can either make pans, which will actually sell for a pretty good bit of money on the market. At the moment, I know that someone is consistently, <coughs> me, uh, buying pans for 40 coins each. So again, you stack them up, you get like a row of them, and then you can go sell them for a good bit of cash. Or for slightly faster artisan XP, because it's based on the number of clay that you use, you can make amulet molds. So if we make our amulet molds, we'll see that they give approximately 60 XP each. So that's 30 XP per clay. Whereas if you make pans, you will get 28 XP, oh, 18 XP each. It's actually terrible for experience, but it's good for money. So you can do pans or you can not do pans. You can probably do amulet molds, honestly. I don't think, I think they changed the level requirements without changing the, uh, the XP it gives. So you can do these, you get 60 XP a pop, that's 30 XP per clay. It's actually pretty fast artisan XP, because it's 60 XP every two seconds, 30 XP per second, plus whatever time it takes you to mine the clay. So this is how I would recommend leveling your artisan to approximately level 20, at least, maybe even level 30. In fact, those amulet molds are kind of nice. I might do this method for a little while for myself, even though I'm artisan level 48. Anyway, that's my video on how to get artisan XP when you're just starting out the game. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.